Okay, so I'm taking on this first challenge to get toll on me, actually, <laughs> I must confess. But let me do a quick walkthrough with you guys. So um, I, I use um, JetX, um, the GUI, um, to unpack that Android just to open new file, unpack the Android, then um, the APK file, which we had downloaded earlier. Then also I, I kept the content of that API PHP in that um, extract, which we did the git extract. I realized that um, this seemed similar to what we had submitted initially for the web API key. So that gave me a hint that this probably would be um, the one that has been asked and also looking at what they had said and, and um, that looks like and here. So I probably initially I grabbed this <laughs> submitted, it didn't work. So um, after unpacking the APK, um, I, I found two pretty much interesting. I have to browse through each of these, pretty much there was nothing there. Then somewhere in the common example, I found um, this main activity, main activity two as well. So looking at them closely, I found a few things that gave me um, hints uh, as to what this was trying to do. Let's take, for instance, we start with this. We can see the API path was actually going to that um, directory, the dot H, the dot, um, API dot PHP, which we had cut the content here. And it was looking in the one API key um, plus this API key. So which means um, this part here, so it's taking this part, but it doesn't seem like it's complete. So which means there's something which is not here. So a part of it is what we can actually see there. I also looked in here and basically I could see almost the same thing kind of like replicating, telling me that there is a part of it which is not being revealed there. So after pretty much doing a deep research, up and down, looking around, I found um, a few things which gave me hints. So first, I found this site, which more or less I used. But before jumping into this, I'm just going to show you a few steps which I haven't caught, which I probably cleared off, uh, so you understand what had been done to be able to get the encrypted key which I used to decrypt. So I'm going to clear this. And I'm going to, in that APK, I'll go back. Sorry, I'll clear this and I'll go back. Um, go back. I think I have the AP mobile APK here. So I'll use APK tool to more or less like uh, um, unwrap it. So I've got APK download. If you don't have it yet, you can just use the app to get to the app get. You find it in the, you find it in the app store. So APK tool. I'm going to use this pass a D then pass that APK stuff. So I'm going to decode that thing. When it's done, I'm going to grab for a specific line, which I think uh, um, I was going to be or uh, we'll be looking at based on the um, API of PHP, which we had seen, and also based on what we found um, here. Um, let me quickly go back there. Sorry. Yeah, great, based on what we found here. So um, we got that done already, and it's in this uh, folder. I'm just going to see the mobile, and then in there we can see all the files in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab for um, specifically, I'm going to see if I can uh, end an um, encrypted Uh, I know that's what um, it stays, stores it as API, then key. So I'm going to prep for this, see if I can find, oh, sorry. Um, I should pass the file and prep for it, I'm sorry. So I'm going to have to pass the file, my bad. So um, clear the screen. Um, if I cut the content of Android, we can see all this whole stuff in there. We can probably look through the lines just so you can follow up, but in this, there's basically nothing in there. If I cut the content of APK, the YAML file, again, you can see the YAML file pretty much neatly arranged, and um, there doesn't seem to be anything there that interests me. If I see it to original, 
can list the contents. I can see this, um, sorry, cats, Android, XML. So this seems more like an encrypted stuff happening there That's towards the end part of it. And again, uh, there's nothing here that is of interest to me. I'm going to go back. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to see the, into this. And um, I see there are quite a number of, a handful of them. Now, all this I'm trying to show is just to make you understand what I had to go through before I could probably find or figure out a way to crack this. So it took me a whole lot of time trying to see what exactly is in uh, um, um, before I could pass that command because the command I had passed was this rm sorry to extract basically in one of those files so you can see it's actually um, does an extract the final encrypted ap uh, i key and gave me this. So looking at this, this more or less might not seem like it makes some sense, but it also shows a few other things that are of interest, which we're going to look. So I'm going to go back. Sorry, I'm going to copy this command so I can grab the complete in that main path. So I'm going to go back. Um, I think I just have to go one step, one more step back. Okay, in here, no, um, I have to go into the mobile. Okay, uh, I'm a bit hurry now because I have to go to work. So I'm going to paste this in here. Then you can see. Now you see, um, this is the encrypted API key. So we're going to take this. Then if we look at, um, let me list the content of this. I'm going to go back. I just want to show you something. I think it's in um, Git's pack. Release the content CD to that uh, server. Uh, if I cut the content of API with PHP, if you look at what we found and what is here, this is the clear text version of that encrypted thing which we had seen earlier. So I'm going to put both of them side by side. I'm going to just uh, maybe split this terminal. Then I'll uh, make, uh, you no, know, I'm going to just nano compare the txt. I'll paste this in here. Then I'll copy this as well quickly. I want to put them side by side so I can look at them. I'll copy this. I'll paste this in here. So if you look at it, they, they probably more or less align exactly, which means this part of it is what is not there. So after much deep detailed analysis, it wasn't coming clear. I must I must actually confess it wasn't coming clear. It seemed like it wasn't going to work out. But uh, uh, that's the essence of research. So I did a bit of digging. Then I found um, a few things which I'm going to show you that I actually used to give me a hint. So I'm going to pull in um, CyberChef into my browser. And I'm, I'm going to show you what I did. So I already discovered that this was, um, I'm not sure why it's still load. Pretty much fine. Maybe I should stretch this up a bit. Yeah. So that this was actually using a particular um, cipher, which is called the Virginair. So I'm going to look for that. I'll try to see if I can use the decode. Then I'll copy that my key. Um, I'll copy this first. And I'll paste this in here. So it says it must only contain letters. So I'm going to try and clean it up, remove the numbers. Um, there's a two here. There's an eight here. There is a five here. And uh, it seems like it's clean. Uh, did it push any outputs at me? Uh, it didn't seem to push any output at me. So this is still encrypted so i'm going to try the other one or copy this 
Okay, just to show you how it was for me to figure out the part of it that was missing. So I'll remove that, remove five, and uh, that still didn't show me an output, so I'm not sure why. Uh, can we remove that? I think I missed a part of it. Uh, where's that thing? Okay, I'm gonna copy this again. Because what I did was, after looking at it, cleaning up a bit and looking at it, I found it revealed the context. So that gave me a hint that that part of the key missing was context. I'm not sure why it's not doing it. No. Yeah, this sometimes just sucks. <laughs> Sorry about that. This sometimes just sucks. So what I, I did was I grabbed that key, I placed it in here, uh, um, and then I tried to see if I can use the, uh, sorry, I grabbed the encrypted text, place it in here, then use the key, since I know the key from analysis which I've done here, I don't know why this is just not showing me, it has shown the context. Then from that analysis, I got the context key, I paste that key here, then I decrypt it. And immediately I ran the decrypt, it gave me the output which I grabbed, which is this. Then I took this and I went to submit right here. And that happened to be the answer to this. So quickly, uh, um, if you look at this, there were hints that were left, but not clear because I, I actually found this, which was the starter for me. Then I was able to understand that this could be probably what we're looking at. Then, after extracting from what I showed earlier here, um, after extracting, no, I think it's here. Extracting this, seems that this is the encrypted text, then I have to take this and go look for a way to find the key. Upon finding the key, um, it became easier for me to use that key to decrypt the, um, the generic uh, encryption happening around that stuff. Okay, so we're done with this. The next task, we're going to start uh, maybe attempting to gain initial access so we can complete all these other tasks.